Lil McPherson wants her grandkids to be able to eat seafood in 2050. That's why this restaurant owner is making a conscious effort to protect the fish population. Well, we're doing the best we can, actually, and we are doing some stuff. We've decided uh, that we're buying only our, our, our haddock right now. is coming from line caught haddock, which we're very proud of. So we decided to buy uh, sustainable fish. Sustainable fish simply means fish that can be maintained for years to come. McPherson is encouraging other restaurants in Halifax to do the same. Wonderful, And we'd like to approach the restaurant association and the rest of the restaurants just to think about it. Let's talk about it. Let's let's because uh, it's a huge problem and it's not a little problem. It's a world problem and it's like it's an emergency state. The problem is so big. Heike Latza, a biology professor at Dalhousie, says it's time to put a limit on the amount of seafood that is sold. Because right now the the demand is increasing, but for numerous decades the total global catch is decreasing. So at some point we can't, we don't have enough seafood to uh, to feed a growing population that has a growing demand for that type of food. Lotsa hopes all restaurants follow what Lil McPherson is doing. I hope more and more restaurants will go that route and offer, yeah, offer consumers a good choice, a good, uh, uh, for a good conscience. <laughs> now Lotsa also suggests that we, the consumer, can help out when dining at these restaurants. She suggests instead of eating three seafood meals per month, we can eat one sustainable seafood dish. That way, Lil McPherson's kids and grandkids and everyone else's grandkids will be eating seafood long after 2050.